Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform your regular PC into a fully functional Android TV 13 system using just a USB pin drive. That's right, no need to format your hard drive or install anything permanently. This method is perfect if you want to repurpose an old computer or enjoy Android TV features like streaming apps, YouTube, and even some light gaming, all from your desktop or laptop. We'll go through each step, from downloading the required Android TV image, flashing it to the USB drive, booting into it on your PC, and getting everything set up, just like a real Android TV box. It's simple, lightweight, and gives your PC a whole new life. Whether you're looking to build a smart TV setup or just experiment with Android on a bigger screen, this video will guide you from start to finish. So grab your USB drive, and let's get started. First of all, we need Android TV 13 ISO and one of these data files. To get these files, download this archive from link provided in the description of this video and extract it using WinRAR. Next we need Rufus to make our USB pin drive bootable. Head over to Rufus official website to download the latest version. Oh. An updated version is available. Let's download the latest version. You may see higher numbers here, but currently 4.9 is the latest version. Now we have the updated version. Let's move the older version aside. Plug in your USB pen drive. I've already plugged in. Now select or drag the ISO file into Rufus. Set partition scheme to MBR or GPT according to your system configuration. Leave everything at default and click Start. Click OK. Click yes, and it may download a grub file, which is totally normal, don't worry. It's done, click close. Now before restarting, we need to extract the data.img file into the USB drive. We have two files, data2gb and data4gb. If you have 16 GB or less pen drive, you may use data 2 GB. Otherwise use data 4 GB file. I will use data 4 GB and I recommend extracting this file onto PC then copying it into a USB drive. You can copy this file onto USB and then extract, but it will take more time to extract. Use 7-zip, WinRAR, or Windows built-in extract feature. Now we have to put this file into the main directory of our USB. Note, this step is very crucial. If you miss it, you will not be able to save any apps or settings, and everything will start from beginning at every reboot. Now we are ready to boot from this drive. Simply reboot PC, and press the boot menu key, usually F10, F9, delete or escape. Then select USB and hit enter. Now you will see this Android TV 13 menu. Select any kernel version and hit enter. If one of these doesn't work for you, try a different kernel. It will surely work. Select language and hit enter. Here you can link it with your Android phone to transfer Google account and Wi-Fi passwords with ease. Now connect to your Wi-Fi. 
The Ethernet cable also works perfectly. Now sign in with your Google account to enjoy the Google Play Store and services. Hit Enter to accept the terms. Follow the remaining steps to your choice of settings. Congratulations! You've just turned your regular PC into a powerful Android TV 13 system, and all of it using just a USB pen drive. No hard drive installation, no TV box required, and absolutely no permanent changes to your computer. This means you can plug this USB into any compatible PC or laptop, boot from it, and enjoy the full Android TV experience on a bigger screen. Whether you want to stream YouTube, install Android apps, cast from your phone, or explore the Android TV interface, it's all ready for you right now. This setup is perfect for reviving old hardware turning a monitor into a smart entertainment center, or just experimenting with Android TV without any risk. Just plug and play. Welcome to your new Android-powered PC experience. And that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your tech-loving friends, and subscribe to ITCPK for more awesome tutorials just like this one. Got questions or video suggestions? Drop them in the comments. I read them all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.